royal devastation, the heartbreaking reason Queen Anne will spend time with Prince Philip. Queen Elizabeth II will not be seen out and about as she spends the day privately with Prince Philip, but what is the heartbreaking reason why? Queen Elizabeth II has remained at her Sandringham estate in Norfolk after the festive period, attending engagements around the area. She will soon return to Buckingham Palace, but not before taking the time to commemorate a significant day. On this day, February 6, in 1952, then Princess Elizabeth's life changed forever. Her father, King George VI died suddenly in his sleep at Sandringham, aged 56. The king had been suffering from lung cancer and several other health issues, but his death came as a shock to the world. Cause of death was recorded as a fatal blood clot to the heart. Elizabeth was not with her father when he died, having been on a royal tour of Kenya with her husband Philip at the time. When the news of the king's death reached Kenya, it was Philip who first found out from a local reporter. He then took Elizabeth aside to privately deliver the heartbreaking news. Princess Elizabeth immediately ended her royal tour and made arrangements to fly back to England. At the time Elizabeth, 25, said, By the sudden death of my dear father I am called to assume the duties and responsibilities of sovereignty. My heart is too full for me to say more to you today than I shall always work, as my father did throughout his reign, to advance the happiness and prosperity of my peoples. Elizabeth and Philip were to fly back to the UK, but their plane was delayed due to a thunderstorm. Further stress came as it was soon realized by royal aides Elizabeth's morning outfit had already been sent to the next location on their royal tour. When the plane landed, a black dress was brought on board so she could change before exiting. Prime Minister Winston Churchill at the time offered condolences, saying, We cannot at this moment do more than record the spontaneous expression of grief. Each year the Queen spends the anniversary of her father's death at Sandringham with her husband of 72 years. This year, the day before the anniversary the Queen went on a rather poignant engagement echoing her father's footsteps. She officially opened Wolferton's new pumping station which resides on the Sandringham estate. The new pumping station replaces the original which the Queen's father opened shortly after World War II. The station protects the area from flooding and was rebuilt to be more efficient and environmentally friendly. The station allows the surrounding 7,000 acres of marshland, which sits below sea level, to be drained, dried out and farmed. During her visit, the Queen viewed the plaque her father had unveiled in 1948, before unveiling her own and signing the visitor's book. To mark the occasion, the royal family's Twitter shared two photos of King George VI opening the pumping station on February 2, 1948. In one photo, King George was seen at the station with his daughters Princess Margaret and Princess Elizabeth. Despite the closeness to the 68th anniversary of her father's death, the Queen was all smiles as she met staff and was given a tour of the station.